What's going on guys? Grave here. The Call of Duty Vanguard beta just ended yesterday and Sledgehammer has already gave us a list of fixes. They said this is not going to be everything they fix, but they want to go ahead and let the community know they're already working on some of this stuff. So let's go ahead and talk about exactly what they're looking to fix from their feedback from the beta. And they listed these kind of funny, I guess, because it was kind of a running joke during the beta that they needed to nerf the sun. And that is true. The sun was extremely bright in certain parts of the map and would absolutely blind you. And you could not see anything in front of you. And they will definitely be working on how bright the sun is on each of those maps. Cracking down on red star raves. Removing dog nados. Turning down spawns to avoid Hotel Royale's murder kitchen. It is bad in that kitchen. Most people will spawn around that kitchen and just instantly die over and over. There were several. It is frustrating but kind of hilarious at the same time. There were several clips people were posting on YouTube, social media, whatever the case may be. About just spawning in the same location over and over. And just getting just massacred you know before they could even react and they're also talking about closing open mic lobbies in search and destroy they said in all seriousness they are fixing these things they're also looking at weapon balancing audio mixing and visibility but they're they'll will they'll share more info about those three things kind of later down the road if they actually do get all of this fixed before the game is out or we have a you know day one update which a lot of us are probably assuming is going to happen this would be a really good start in my opinion because these are some of the biggest issues players had with the beta. If you enjoyed the game, if you enjoyed the beta, all the things that you know they pretty much mentioned were things that players were complaining about. Audio mixing is a big one. I'm, I'm really curious to see what they do with that. Also, weapon balancing. Some of the weapons in the, in the beta seem to be a lot more uh, really viable and, and stronger than other options. And also visibility. Now, from the first week of the beta, the closed you know beta for, on PlayStation to the second week of the beta where it was the open side and of course PC and Xbox. The visibility on PS5 was better in my opinion, but it still could use some fixes. There are still parts of the map where it's really dark and you kind of can't see players and you'll get kind of get shot just out of nowhere. All you can see is kind of the bullet tracers hitting you. And of course, time to kill is so fast. Well, it's not really the time to kill is fast. It's the headshot multiplier is so high that if anybody gets a headshot on you, you're pretty much gonna die instantly. I think they probably could rework that headshot multiplier as well. Because when it comes to body shots, the time to kill is kind of around that same time frame as Modern Warfare was. But of course, Modern Warfare did not have a high or as high of a headshot multiplier. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Are you happy to hear that Sledgehammer is already looking at this stuff, even though, like I said, the beta just ended yesterday? It's a good sign to me that they're already looking into fixing this stuff. And I've also been hearing a lot of rumors that they're working closely with, you know, some people on the professional side of Call of Duty, the Pro League side, to get a lot of their rule sets and things fixed and make sure that there's a ranked playlist and things in the game. It looks like Sledgehammer is doing a better job than even I would have expected from considering what we've had in past years with some of their games. I've not always been impressed with their community communication and also the way they like to update and change their games and their patches and whatever the case may be. But I think it seems right now, or as of right now, that they are really looking to fix some of the stuff that we had issues with during the beta. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.